Okay. So what we've done now is we've added three quarter a cup of fresh mozzarella cheese. I cut it up to make it easier to melt uh, more evenly. Uh, in the pot now, you can see those, those white areas of mozzarella cheese. I'll be stirring this continuously to make sure that it's distributed throughout. You could add more, you could add less, depending on your individual taste. Also, with regard to cheeses, you could use cream cheese instead. Certainly, it melts easier, it, it blends a little smoother uh, more easily. I prefer the mozzarella because it's an authentic Italian cheese. I'm creating an authentic northern Italian dish. This is my personal choice. Uh, the only other choice I would probably make is maybe goat's cheese, which my beloved is not really a big fan of. So uh, the mozzarella fits in very nicely. Uh, I'll be stirring this continuously to make sure this sta the sauce stays nice and smooth. And the only next question we have is how do we introduce it to the shrimp and the pasta? There's a few different ways we can do that. I've done them all. I can't say any of them are particularly bad. Uh, personally, what I like to do is season with garlic, my aromatics, uh, crushed red pepper, my shrimp first and add my Alfredo sauce over that after I deglaze the pan. Why? I have to deglaze the pan anyway. While I'm doing that, I might as well be unlocking the flavors that I've cooked in there. So that's a personal choice. And of course, that will distribute through the sauce, which would then get tossed through the pasta. So, all right, so here we go. I'll talk to you later.